guys, and today we're gonna unbox two Ipsy subscriptions for the month of February. It is mid-February, so it just makes sense to go ahead and do it all today. We're going to unbag the Ipsy Glam Bag, which retails for, I believe it's $12 free shipping, and you get up to five deluxe size products and or a full size usually, so it's pretty awesome. And then we have the Glam Bag Plus. I do get it in PR, both of them, so what they ended up doing is they just like always put everything in the one box and ship it over, which is why this is open. And they also launched their refreshments line and they sent that over as well. So we've got a lot to go through today and I'm really excited. So let's go through all the items, what tier they're from, and then I'll give you my first impressions on the items. The theme for February is send love, super appropriate. Valentine's Day literally just passed. We don't have any details inside of the card as to price ranges or anything like that. The bag is cute. This is my favorite part. Like the gold detail on it is super, super cute. And then it says sealed with a kiss. So the first item that they included in my bag, it's by the brand About Face and it says matte paint fluid eye paint in the shade Dionysus. Honestly, I'm glad that I read it because I probably would have applied it on my lips and not on the eyes. The next item is by Glam Glow and it says Bright Eyes. Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. We can totally apply that baby under the eyes. Again, these are gonna be deluxe sizes if you want full sizes. You can either snag the Glam Bag Plus and or shop their deals, their sales. Next we have Clean It Zero Tri Peel Acid Cleansing Balm Pore Clarifying Cleanser. Item number four is super itty bitty, but it is by Bite Beauty, and it is their Outburst Longwear Lip Stain in Strawberry Froze. And then last but not least, we have Love You First Perfect Eyeshadow Duo in Rose, Gold, and Ivory. I think this glam bag was cute. <laughs> I think this is the smallest glam glow item I've ever seen, and I'm not even mad because the packaging is super cute. We're gonna set those over to the side. I'm gonna set this back over here because that's going in my purse, and now we're gonna dive into the refreshments. With the refreshments subscription, you're able to replenish some of your favorite refreshment products, and it ships for free with your Ipsy subscription. So your refreshments bag is going to look like this, and yes, you get to skip a month and or choose what items you need to replenish, of course. And they have been sending these stickers, which is really cute, and I have some of them on my computer. They sent over the Pillowy Shave Cream Citrus Spritz. I've had the privilege of trying some of the previously featured refreshment products and I actually really have liked them. The body butter was really nice. And personally for the price, I do like the packaging. They're not like super tiny. They're like really decent sizes. These can last you, depending on how often you're gonna use them, a month or two, which is really cool. So you can always skip a month, like I said. This month, they sent over my way the Lux 5 Blade Razor Kit. When you open the packaging up, the kit looks like this. You have a reusable handle for your razor. You have two razor head replacements, and then you have a little suction cup holder that you can actually just pop in your shower, suction it onto the wall, door, whatever works best for you, and you'll have your razor easily accessible in your shower. And if you get the pillowy shave cream, you get a smoother shave. This is awesome, I'm definitely trying this. I think it's pretty awesome that the refreshment subscription is coming out with items that people can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, let's get into the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. They sent over one, two, three, four, five, five full-size items here. I'm assuming they're all full-size, let's see. The drawstring bag for the Glam Bag Plus in the month of February look like this, and I think it's so cute. I really like these drawstring bags that you like pretty much over the bags that they used to have, but they're getting really, really creative. I like the print on this. The next item is by Tokyo Milk Light and Soul Shea Butter Hand Cream. Based on the packaging, I honestly thought it would just be like a perfume, cause it's like really fancy packaging, but no. I mean, look at this packaging. Is it just me? Like this is actually fancy. Ooh, wow. I need some more. Oh, let's hydrate our elbows. You are gonna go right here cause you're going in my purse, girlfriend. The next item is by Golden Fed and MD. It is the Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. It has vitamin D, hyaluronic acid, and gooseberry. This multifaceted hydrating moisturizer delivers a brightening glow to all skin types. I actually already have a moisturizer primer on the skin right now, so we're gonna skip on using that product, but I was like this close of just opening it just to check it out. I'm gonna save that for like another video. 
We also got a product by Item Beauty. It is called the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. This doesn't necessarily look like it's actually full size. This looks like a deluxe. I mean, is it just me? It, it looks deluxe. I could be wrong. I'm not very familiar with many of the Item Beauty products. I'm not mad at it. I'm always about trying new mascaras, whether they're full size or travel size or even deluxe. The only thing is if it's a mascara that I fall in love with and it's like an itty bitty one, then I get really upset because I'm like, crap, I could have gotten a full size, you know? But other than that, it's fine. Then we have this baby over here, which I was like, no, yes. It is an It Cosmetics brush. They sent over the Heavenly Skin Skin Hugging Foundation brush in number 707. And it contains groundbreaking anti-aging skincare infused brush hair. Now you guys know I am a sponge girl when it comes to applying my foundation. So it's kind of like this is meant to be because all my sponges are currently soaking, like literally right now, so that I can actually clean them really, really well and give them a really good deep clean. So um, I don't really have a sponge in front of me. I have 20 something sponges currently waiting to be washed. Um, so I guess we're using this brush today. I'm gonna clean it really quickly as I do with everything and then um, we'll be able to use it in a few minutes. However, I gotta tell you guys, this is really soft. Like this is really, 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 really soft. So I, I hope, I hope this is a good brush and gives me the type of finish that I look for when I apply my foundation. And then last but not least, they sent over the Mayel Sunkissed Blush. Here's what the palette looks like. I'm sorry, please don't judge my fingerprints. I mean, the packaging alone requires for you to get fingerprints. There's no way around it. But this is really pretty. I don't know if I would actually just dip into one shade or just swirl it all together. We're gonna play around with these products and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead, pull my hair back, and dive on in to trying some of these products. The first thing we're gonna try is the foundation brush. I used my Cinema Secrets solution in order to disinfect it and it dries your brushes like this. I'm gonna do my foundation the way I normally would. I'm gonna use a drugstore foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in 485. And the way I would normally do this, dab the foundation where I feel like I need it. Now I'm gonna take the brush and I'm not just gonna do one of these, I'm gonna pat the foundation in place. I don't want to move it, but I want to just get my skin to absorb it. Now I know most people do this, but I find that when you blend it that way, your skin ends up getting all these brush marks, like smear marks that I personally don't like. You don't get to see it so much on video, but in person you do. There's nothing wrong with using a brush except it takes longer to really get that perfect airbrushed blend, which is why I prefer a sponge. But this one, this one looks like it's doing a really good job. I pulled my little mirror. I have it here. I'm really observing my skin close up. It blended really well. Doesn't look like super dry or anything. Okay, so far so good. Hm. If you don't like a super dense brush, you might want to try this one. Again, my sponges are soaking and being cleaned, so we're gonna use the very same brush to blend out the concealer under my eyes. Hopefully this works, and then I'm gonna apply whatever's left on the lid, and that'll be kind of like my primer. I found a mini Twix on my vanity. Started eating it, and now I have caramel stuck in my teeth. Now we get to play with the eyes. We're definitely gonna try both of these products here. So the first item I'm gonna use is this kind of taupey shade off of the dual sided pan. Tap out and then I'm going to apply that all over the crease. I mean, pigmentation is there, y'all see it. I'm over here talking, not editing. And you can definitely, what brand is this? Have I tried this brand before? I don't think so. The back of the packaging says, manufactured for Real Her Products Inc. So I'm assuming it's a sister brand of Real Her if it's not actually Real Her because the front doesn't say Real Her. I mean, look at that, pigmentation is there. Cool. Now I'm curious about the About Face product. It has a doe foot applicator and this one is purple. But it's like a muted purple. So we're gonna, I don't know if applying it on both eyes at the same time is a good idea, but I did it anyway, so it's kind of late. I'm gonna grab a, ooh, I'm gonna grab a brush. This is a Royal and Langnickel brush in the, it's a shader brush, number 40. I'm gonna take this and pat. Not just blend, we're gonna pat. I like how it's like a pinky purple, and for today it's actually pretty, like, 
toned down. So it still gives me a pop of color, but it's not like too loud. All right. So this one blended out great. It's going really well with that taupey shade on the crease. And this one is blending really well too, which I'm impressed because most products would have been completely dried out by now and then it would have been really hard to actually blend it out. But this one is like blending really well, didn't dry out fast or anything. I'm actually wondering how many more shades like this one do they have available? I'm actually gonna grab my brush since it's already got some product and apply additional product on either side and smoke out this cream product on the bottom portion of my eyes, which I must say it's actually pretty easy to do. This is, I'm glad I decided to do this. It doesn't feel super sticky, so maybe giving it a second, it'll fully, fully dry. But then the next question is, is it gonna transfer? Is it waterproof? Because it doesn't say anything like that. Next, I'm gonna grab another shader brush. This is a large shader by Luxie. I'm gonna go into the gold shade out of this pan, and I'm just going to bring that onto the inner portion of the eye. I'm not gonna bring it all the way through, just a little bit. I just combed my lashes. Now we're gonna use the Item Beauty Mascara. I'm gonna do one side. This is usually what I do when I'm gonna show you guys how a mascara works. I will do one side, and then once I'm done with the one side and apply the amount of layers that I want to apply, we compare and see what the difference is. This here is two coats in with the Item Beauty Mascara. It gives me length for sure. You can definitely notice a difference. However, it is somewhat clumpy. Like, see my lashes? They like clumped together. That's not a vibe that I like. I actually used my lash comb to try to separate it, but it's just, it's clumpy. It got hard uh, immediately. <laughs> and it is just so hard to separate my lashes, which is why I'm gonna leave them the way they are. Um, they're not quite spidery, they're just clumpy. So, I mean, personal preference, at least mine, it's just not my gem. I like how dark they got and how long, but I don't, I don't like the whole clumpiness thing. Regardless of the mascara, I think my eyes turned out really cute because you have like that lavender purple, you know, and then you have like that gold. I applied a little bit of black liner on my waterline just to add more depth to the look without having to like really smoke it out and make it like kind of crazy, but I like my eyes. I'm not gonna apply lashes. I'm gonna skip that today. I applied the smallest amount of bronzer on the perimeter on my skin. Y'all know how it is. I always need to have some sort of bronzer on. And now we're gonna use the blush palette that came in the box. I like the fact that you have so many different shades to choose from. I'm just kinda like, I don't know which one I want to use. So I'm gonna go into this baby pink and then I'm gonna mix it with this toned down dusty rose shade. These have a little bit, oh, that's pretty. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so you might wanna skip the highlighter, maybe. Totally personal preference. See, it, you know what? It has a little like gold shift to it. I like this, hold on. Let me make sure I get the right shades all over again. That's pretty good color payoff. And I don't need a highlighter, that's awesome. And it goes with the eyes. I'm feeling very berry today. And then last but not least, we're gonna use the Bite Beauty lipstick. This is so, so pink, but we're gonna use it anyway. Let's see. It is so tiny. Bite Beauty has a beautiful formula, so it's not the actual lipstick. I just really do not know how I feel about the eye and lip combo. Give me your opinion down below, because I'm looking at it like I'm looking at it live here. And I'm looking at it over here on the viewfinder, and I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. So let me know down below what your opinion is. Do you think this is a good eye lip combo or no? Those are all the items I received in my February Glam Bag, my February Glam Bag Plus, and my refreshment bag. Chime in down below and let me know if there's any item in particular that stood out to you. And make sure your notifications are on because I have a few more unboxings that like are coming your way and these boxes are straight up fire. You don't wanna miss them. Thank you for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me, it really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, vlogs, how-tos, and all that good stuff I know you're gonna absolutely love and I'll see you guys over there. Bye guys!